Hello all, it's your girl Tiffany, my malicious black beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, high priestess, aka the late that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one who isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If y'all would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign, so please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading can apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between um, that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, let's get started. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you all on today. Spirit, give us clear and accurate messages. Uh -oh. So we have the Knight of Swords here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy here, okay? I feel like uh, somebody may be feeling unfulfilled or unsatisfied, having to walk away from something, leave something behind, release something, let something go in some type of way. Um, your Knights are really kind of play a type of energy here, okay? Um, or what have you, but... We're going to see what else is going on here, okay? But something is changing with this person here, okay? Um, and it's like this person may have, yeah, be walking away from something here. Yeah, a queen of wands, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, feminine here, okay? That they're lovers with, okay? So, um, yeah, it's like this, this, this air sign individual got their back turned on a situation or walking from, or, you know, walking away from something, releasing something, letting something go that they have with this fire sign woman here, okay, that they were sexually involved with or what have you, okay, yeah, could be because of some type of third party situation here, um, or what have you, spirit is saying, what else is going on? Claire, yeah. Whoever this air sign um, individual is, this person is in mental conflict. They're stressed. They're worried. They're depressed. They're having sleepless nights. They're having some type of anxiety. Um, they can't sleep. They can't eat. They can't think. Okay? This person is very stressed. Okay? Dealing with some type of mental anguish, mental conflict in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Okay? Yeah. It's like this person is trying to be strong here. They're trying to have courage and faith and confidence. They're trying to stand their ground to overcome some type of conflict of some kind here. Yeah, there's some type of jealousy, envy, hatred, spitefulness, or competition as it relates to this Queen of Wands individual here, okay? Um, this person could be out for retaliation, punishment, payback, or revenge here, okay? But there's a lot of jealousy and envy and hatred, spitefulness from this uh, fire sign female here, okay? It's very clear for the lovers. Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? Okay. I'm seeing the Eight of Pentacles here, okay? So the Eight of Coins talks about the money one makes from the work that they do here, okay? Um, it can talk about one's hard work, dedication, details, specialties, um, talent, skills, abilities, uh, work, job, occupation, career, or what have you here, okay? Um, this fire sign could have had sex with somebody that they work with here, or somebody, or if, if this air sign... And this fire sign was working together. They could have met on the job and started having sex with one another. Or either this air sign um, now has their back turned and is moving on or releasing this fire sign because they does this fire sign could have had somebody could have sex with somebody that they work with or something like that. Okay. Yeah, somebody is in this foolish energy here, just sitting here with the, the Three of Cups here. Somebody likes to party. Somebody may indulge a lot in alcohol or drugs or partying or, you know, coming together with others here. Um, this person could be kind of careless or reckless in some way, shape, form, or fashion. This person takes uh, blind leaps of faith and different things like that, which could be the reason why... Um, could be the reason why um, this person is, yeah, wow, okay. 
So I'm seeing here, whoever this air sign is, they're in mental conflict, mental anguish. They're stressed, they're depressed, they're anxiety. Because they're dealing, there's some type of gossip or rumors, okay, that's going on, okay? Gossip, rumors, slander, backstabbing, backbiting type of energy that is going on here, okay? Yeah. This person is uh, having to release something, let something go, walk away from something. Something or someone has changed here. This person is trying to be strong. They're trying to have faith and courage, like I said here, okay? The Two of Swords here it talks about uh, somebody being indecisive, okay? Indecision. Uh, it can also speak to somebody being at the crossroads, making a wrong decision, going in the wrong direction, okay? Making the wrong choice or option or something like that or what have you here, okay? Even though the two of swords can talk about in, indecision, at some point in time, a decision is made here, okay? Um, and it's the reason why this person is unfulfilled and unsatisfied with the situation. It's the reason why, you know, um, maybe a decision is made because of something uh, changing in some type of way. It's the reason why somebody is having to release something, cut something loose, let something go, walk away from something here. Yeah, trying to have some type of strength um, as it relates to a situation here. I'm seeing the moon here on the queen of wands, okay, with the five of wands here. Um, this queen of wands has a lot of secrets. Like, there's a lot of secret things, hidden things, what's done in the dark with this person here, okay? This could be criminal activity. This could be sneaky, freaky, creepy shit, low down and dirty shit. This could be shady, shysty type of shit. This could be dirty dealings, um, shady people, illusions, fear, uh, moon magic, different things, okay? Because the moon talk about secret things, hidden things, what's done in the dark, okay? Or what have you here, okay? This person could even be into some type of magic, um, witchcraft, sorcery, black magic, voodoo type of energy here. Spirit, why is the lover's eight of coins here? Lover's eight of coins. Mm. So this spot, mm, mm, somebody has, somebody slept with a fire or a water sign individual. A Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Somebody that they uh, work with or, um, yeah, somebody that they work with, somebody um, on the job or that they work for or paid to do some type of job for or something like that or what have you okay um yeah they could have been paid a large amount of money to have sex with someone here okay yeah i'm seeing the ten of pentacles here i'm also seeing the seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck you got the eight of pentacles here okay so this could be somebody that this person works with or what have you okay this could be what this this queen of wands do in secret here okay Maybe this person is having sex with people for money here, but they definitely, there was definitely some type of sexual interactions and encounters with a water sign individual, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, that they either work with or work for or that paid them um, to do some type of job or service of some kind, Spirit is saying, okay? Spirit, clarify the Three of Cups in the Fool here. Yeah, so we got the star here. Somebody could be very popular, a celebrity status. Somebody could be very known, well known. They could have a large following, a uh, fan base of some kind here. This person likes to party, okay? This person indulges a lot, okay? Alcohol, drugs, sex, uh, or just partying, gatherings, get together, celebrations, and different things, okay? And when they indulge like this with others, they get a little careless, they get a little reckless, they take blind leaps of faith and different things or whatever, but it's because they're in this star status, because they have some type of popularity or following following or um uh, you know what i'm saying um they're well known or you know something like that or what have you here okay six of swords is at the bottom of the deck but so somebody is wanting whoever this air sign or not six of one six of swords um it's at the bottom of the deck, okay? So whoever this air sign individual is that's been dealing with this fire sign woman, they are like fast, quick, and in a hurry, ready to move on, move forward, move on to calmer waters away from this person because this person's back is to this queen of wands here, okay? It's like this person is has been in mental anguish, mental conflict, stress, worry, depression, anxiety, and shit. There's a lot of gossip, rumors, and different things that's going on, okay? And I feel like this person has just made the decision here to release something to let something go to stand in their strength to stand their ground in something here because this fire sign woman um 
there's a lot of secret things and hidden things that's going on with this person here. But there's also a lot of jealousy, envy, hatred, spitefulness, or competition. Okay? Um, like I said, there are some multiple lovers type of situations here. Okay? This person definitely you know, did the mess around with a, a water sign individual that they worked with or worked for or something like that or what have you. Um, and there's just a, like a lot of partying, a lot of indulging and different things. Okay. And somebody is ready to move on to calmer waters guys. Okay. So that's what's going on here, guys. Honey, I do hope that this is giving you all the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to a situation that you may be dealing with. Okay. Spirit, what else is going on? What's going on with this Knight of Swords here? Either this Knight of Swords is um, like a younger uh, air sign individual or either this person just carries that energy here, okay? This could be a full-grown individual, but, uh, you know, they have like maybe a, a younger spirit or something like that, okay? Yeah, this person been paying attention to the red flags. It's something significant to paying attention to the red flags. The signs have been cautioning this person, okay? Um, yeah. Spirit wants you to stay optimistic about your love life, though, okay? Um, but I feel like you, somebody is, 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 is like releasing something, letting something go. What's going on? Spirit, what's going on with this uh, Queen of Wands energy? What's going on with this Queen of Wands energy, Spirit? Queen of Wands, Five of Wands, and the Moon. Queen of Wands, Five of Wands, and the Moon. I don't know if this person got a child with with someone. There's something with children. And I'm seeing fear it. Free yourself. It's time for somebody to take back control of their life here. Your love life is being affected by children here. I don't know if the two of these people got a child together or what, but there's deception here, okay? Somebody is wearing a false mask in the relationship. Spirit, clarify lovers. Clarify this lovers with the um, Eight of Coins and the Knight of Cups. Mm -mm. that's an unrequited love type of situation like it's not enough like it was like you know strictly sex or something like that it's not even enough attraction or love or chemistry to even keep that situation going between like the this queen of wands and this water sign individual um so you know you know, maybe it was business pleasure type of thing or mixing business with pleasure or, you know, um, you know, whatever. Spirit, what's going on with this lover's? Somebody could have went on a retreat with somebody. Yeah, somebody need to free themselves from a situation here, okay? Yeah, I'm seeing codependency here, okay? Addictions are affecting your romantic life, okay? So somebody got addictions. Somebody definitely has addictions. Um, I'm also seeing separation and free yourself here, okay? So I definitely feel like that's the energy that somebody is in in this situation here. Pay attention to the red flags, okay? Free yourself separation okay I definitely feel like somebody want to separate or you know free themselves separate from um, this individual because like you know what I'm saying the most is, is maybe going on or what have you okay yeah I'm also seeing here something about finances and career here okay this person this person is very codependent here this person also has addictions whether it's drug addictions alcohol addictions sex, sex addictions or something like that or what have you um so this could be the reason why this person indulge a lot party a lot uh they're in this celebrity status or whatever they're kind of careless and reckless and different things like that or what have you here but something is significant to this person's finances and career here okay so these the persons that they have sex with maybe that they work with or that they can pay to have sex with or whatever could have something to do with their finances and their career or keeping their career going in some way shape form or fashion here honey yeah somebody need to let go of con control issues okay allow, allow the situation to unfold naturally but look somebody is like um ready to move on to karma waters okay 
Yeah, that's what's going on here, y'all. Okay, so like I said, I hope this gave you the truth and the clarity that you were seeking. Um, for those of you all who would like to contact me, you can do so at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine rate like a diamond36 with the underscore between each word. For any person who is interested in donating to the channel, you can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tip diamond36, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at 36 diamond, or through Zelle, which is tiff.diamond36 at gmail.com. Um, of course, guys, if you are a real supporter of this channel, that makes you one of my diamonds, honey. Why? Because a diamond is a girl's best friend, child. So if you decide to leave a comment in the comment section below, make sure you drop your girls some diamonds so that I know that you are a real supporter of the channel, guys. Okay? As always, y'all take care of yourself, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your baby, honey. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There's wickedness in high places, and there's evil that's lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you so y'all watch your surroundings watch the company you keep watch surroundings in the company in which your children are in as well and considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you backstab you try to hurt you or harm you honey keep you some protection on you y'all stay awake stay aware stay vigilant and stay prepared because if you stay ready you ain't gotta get ready baby until the next time guys peace love and light namaste i am that i am created in the image of god um, real quick, guys, um, uh, your closing messages, we have illusion, clarity, obstacles, and tested here, okay? I feel like somebody has been in a relationship with somebody who is a gaslighter, okay, who's been gaslighting them, um, uh, yeah, spirit is saying avoid the trap of mistaking a fantasy for true, a true soul connection or true love here. So somebody has been creating illusions, um, uh, you know, somebody has been gaslighting somebody, but somebody has gained some type of clarity, um, knows the truth now, some type of awareness or insight. They've had that light bulb moment, that aha moment, that breakthrough, okay? Um, spirit is saying it's time to think about your situation, uh, and, uh, to gain clarity here, okay? Um, yeah, because there's obstacles now, okay? Yeah. Somebody has tried to look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness, but, um, yeah, there's a, still those obstacles there here, okay? And I'm seeing tested here. Somebody needs to get tested or somebody... Um, is being tested, okay, yeah, Spirit is saying your strengths and weaknesses are being tested here, okay, um, yeah, and that's sitting here between the lovers and the, and, the, and the three of cups here, because like I said, somebody likes to party, honey, okay, um, somebody has addictions, uh, somebody is codependent, um, Somebody do things for, for finances. Somebody do things for their career, okay? But somebody likes to party. Somebody likes to get high. Somebody likes to drink. Somebody likes to party. Somebody likes to indulge uh, with other people sexually and, you know, some of this and some of that, okay? Um, yeah. That's what's going on here, guys. Okay? Um, so to the next time, this could be a twin flame connection. I'm seeing yin yang at the bottom of the deck here, okay? So this could be a twin flame connection. If I told y'all once, I've told y'all a thousand times, okay? Twin flames coming to your life for a good time, but not for a long time, okay? Um, a twin flame, I don't feel like uh, most people don't... Well, Anything is possible, first of all, but most people don't have longevity with a twin flame, okay? Um type of thing you could you could have a good time with your, your twin flame you could have fun you could you know you might have good sex you might have you know there could be different aspects of a twin flame connection that's supposed to be good but a twin flame when a twin flame comes into your life you're supposed to um it, it's supposed to be like a learning lesson you're supposed to grow from a twin flame connection okay and um you know whatever happens within that twin flame connection at some point in time there's going to be a separation there's going to be a breakup that this person's going to break your heart this is you know there's going to be something you there's something that you learned there's a lesson there's some type of growth that's what's supposed to come from a twin flame connection that's the reason why twin flames come come into your life for you to grow in advance and mature and different things like that or what have you okay longevity true love um and different things um 
is going to really be with like your soulmates, your divine counterparts. Now, there are careless, reckless twin flames that have gotten married together, uh, uh, had children together, and different things like that or whatever, but there's always, there's, there's problems, okay? There's problematic situations, there's burdens, there's hardships, there's altercations, there's, uh, uh, disagreements, uh, downfalls, backstabbing, you know, type of energy, lying, cheating, sneaking, creeping, all kinds of stuff that goes on that that twin flame end up separating at some point in time, whether y'all decided to carelessly and recklessly get married or not, whether y'all decide to carelessly and recklessly have a child together or not, um, yeah, so... Yeah, y'all remember that, okay? Twin Flames coming to your life for a, a short time and a good time. They ain't never there for a long time, okay? Um, that's what's going on. Till the next time, peace.